Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here and right now we are in Seville in the south of Spain. A quick little story about our journey here, it was an absolute nightmare. Our airline, Ryanair, basically did everything they could possibly do to make sure we had the most unpleasant journey here and as a result of that, we ended up missing our initial flight to Seville, Spain. We had to wait at the airport for five additional hours and then board a separate flight to Spain to a different city which is called Malaga and we had to take a two and a half hour drive from Malaga at like nine o'clock at night to Seville which got us here realistically once we checked into our apartment at midnight. Now aside from all of that we're excited to be here, I'm excited to show you a bit of what the city looks like but most importantly show you what the hockey scene is like down here in the south of Spain. Now let's go grab breakfast. Right now we just finished breakfast. The guys are way ahead of me because I keep stopping to take pictures. This place is insanely beautiful. Next on the list is to get some aerials of Seville, the city we're in now, for the documentary that we're filming, which is Hockey in Spain. We're gonna be taking a five hour drive as well to another part of the country where there's an inline hockey tournament. So we're gonna find loads of players from all over Spain, different nationalities, different backgrounds, exactly what we need to finish this video. We're gonna get a taxi cab to hit a couple of locations around the city. Taxi cab. Now we both know what I mean by that is taxi. I don't know why I said taxi and cab. If you don't know, cab in the UK means taxi. So I said taxi, taxi essentially twice. My bad. Hope you still follow the story. Let's get back to it. That's a taxi right there. Eh, mi cuenta, pero son ellos dos que van contigo. Valenda. Ah, Plaza España. Eso es. Check this out. Just finished at the plaza or that massive massive awesome structure that you saw next up is going to be what is referred to as a really typically spanish square or spanish garden gonna go check that out location two Calle Ama Amargura 9. Sí. Mission successful. So we've gotten all of the footage that we need for Seville. Now we're going to be taking a five hour drive to another part of Spain to be able to go where the tournament's going to be played and to get some footage along the way. Fun times. In the car. So we're four and a half hours into the drive. There's about an hour left, almost there. Need to stop for some food. It's been a long day. Finally here. Look at this sorry right here. Emilio, 
Emilio, Richard, and Chris. Hi, Hi how are you? Nice to meet you. How's it going? Hi, nice Emilio, to meet you. Emilio, my teammate, friend, business partner, everything. Oh, uh, yeah. Shop. <laughs> This is definitely one of the perks of playing hockey in a hot country. So, every team's getting double chances, so you, you can only be eliminated off two losses. So, the first the first and second seed's got a bye. Then, the first two games this morning were eliminations for losers brackets. And then the first and second teams played the winners of those elimination games. Now that that second team's been eliminated, they have to play more games to get back to the final, so they'll have to beat Kevin's team, then they'll have to beat another team, then they'll have to beat the loser of the other bracket, their semi-final. Like, there's so many games for six squads. It's sick. It's a really good way of running it. But the main but, reason that but is growing yeah, yeah, is it's because growing because of the local yeah. push. I mean, yeah. um, there are a lot of locals involved, and all the most of the clubs, uh, Despite the, the Finnish, the Finn club from Fongirola are locals. I mean, in Sevilla, in Cadiz, and we have some foreign players. You, we we only ha we sometimes have some foreign players, you know, foreign coaches also, also that helps a lot yeah. and push yeah. the level a lot. But all the, the resources and the organization is local. Yeah. New, new club, a new club in Ceuta. There's a new club in, in Ceuta. Yeah. Look at the menu. And I'll talk to the camera and look like a weirdo, not that I care. We've got a bit of downtime now in between games, finished filming most of the video. Gonna grab some snacks and go back and watch some more hockey. Take it away. Yep. Just give it away, give it and then put it back. Safe to say it's been a pretty long day of filming, but we got some awesome in-game footage, especially the shootouts. That no-move-move move goal was insane. Well done, Kevin. Now we're just gonna be enjoying the rest of the time in Cartagena, just getting some more sightseeing done, have some food, and just chill out with the players from here. And your English is fine. <laughs> I got our one meeting. Oh! Because you are a, a grand YouTuber. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You'll be okay. Now she's thrilled, so. Oh, that's good, I'm glad. Question about Why, How did he take it when his son got involved uh, in hockey? He's like, he's actually, he was actually uh, like a really good tennis player when he was a kid. And he's like, he was like, uh, like ch champion of like this area a couple times, whatever. And then he, uh, and then his son like went, they, they had like hockey, a hockey day at the school or something. Like somebody came in and gave a class and he's like, he, and his son had a championship like the next day and he just didn't show up. He just, because he had like, had, had discovered hockey. That's so insane. Because A, he had a, somebody turn up who was like, yo, I'm going to show you ice hockey. And it actually inspired people to play, which is like, well, real hockey. But yeah. that's the hockey's in, like thing in general, isn't it? It's you, play, you play it once, you go, oh my god, this is the thing I'm going to do the rest of my life. Like, that's how it goes. So that's perfect. And then the fact that he was doing something else, that's so good. Yeah. That's epic. That's awesome. Let's do this. Right. Uh, is he good for sound? Or? Uh, no, he is not good for sound. I'll hook okay. him up for sound. It's over here. Oh, cheers. Hold that? Way too oh, cheers. Thank you. Look. These road mics. Ooh. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> See that trick? <laughs> All right. Super windy, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but we're just trying to get the thumbnail for the Hockey in Spain video. You can see what this background looks like, it's a sick place to take a thumbnail photo. Yeah, we're good, I think you can move now, bud. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. It's Done. so weird. 
But yeah, you've got so much stuff in All of that effort space. for a thumbnail, but we're done. This isn't awkward at all. We've just finished filming and rapping at Cartagena and now we're going to be headed back to Sevilla which I've been pronouncing as Seville the whole time I've been here. Tomorrow we're going to be going to the Extra Ice facility to test out some synthetic ice which is arguably one of the best synthetic ice companies in the world based here in the south of Spain. That's going to be a separate video so if you want to see that one keep watching, keep subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.